This one's going to be a very quick video and we're going to look at some of the new updates in Luminar AI. So let's dive right in. Okay, that's us now in Luminar version 1.01 .01, and with the recent updates, I'll sh quickly go over the changes that you're going to see here. First one is, I would say, go and check the updates. If you're on a PC, go over to Luminar, help, check for updates. So I'll start off straight away by saying that as a PC user, once I installed the new version 101, there was a problem, but that problem was easily resolved by uninstalling Luminar and then reinstalling Luminar 1.01. .01. That took all of two minutes to do. Also, I had to go and reinstall the plugins. And again, that, that was seconds to do that as well. So, and now everything's working fine. I can jump from Lightroom into Luminar AI and Photoshop into Luminar AI and so on and so forth. Another update that you'll notice as well is the new iconography and you've got add folder or add image instead of it just being text there. So that, that's another handy thing. Everything has been iconography for years now. So that's just a welcome addition to that as well. For the templates, you'll notice now that there is arrows been added. I use a scroll mouse for this to get through them, but there's also arrows been added now, which is another handy feature. The next one and the biggest one for me that I actually find really, really useful is the edit panel. As you see, no longer is icons down the side. It's a simple scroll. And you can access everything from here, which I think just speeds up the workflow as well. So that, that is really, really, that's, that's super handy for me instead of jumping over, clicking in, clicking out, clicking in, clicking out. So that's another very welcome addition to the software. And you'll notice straight away at the top, Enhance AI has been pasted right at the top. Now that's one of the main ones for me that I use anyway. And probably if you use Luminar AI, it's probably the main one that you jump into straight away. But we then have Enhance AI, then Composition Erase. The erase function is faster as well, and the control Z within the erase function is also faster as well. That control Z is edit undo. So as you can see, these are also color coded, and there's no reason for this. It's just a visual thing according to the presentation that we were all at. So, but the fact that you can scroll through these now is a lot easier when it comes to the editing cycle. So for example, this image, this image is actually finished and it was brought in AI. Uh, but if I wanted to add anything else to it, the reason that scrolled there was because I was over the image and I'm using a scroll mouse. And you'll see that this is pixelated as well. And you'll see my zoom is now at 942%. The reason this image is pixelated is because I've lost the original and that's only a 2000 long age image. And up here, if you want to go up here as well, fit to screen 1200. So you can see that everything's really, really handy now. Everything's where it feels right to be. So for example, if I wanted to go in and add some autumn glow to this straight down, change it to soft focus, autumn effect, and I'll put the amount in and I won't go too far with this only want to apply it to that area. I still have the options of paint mask, radial mask, or gradient mask. And if, I'm just going to choose radial mask for this. And I'll just drag that there. Drag that up a bit. Drag that out a bit. And then I'll turn that off. And there's that added. So everything's there very quickly. You're not jumping about the screen or moving around anywhere else. Another addition as well to bring it in line with everything else is a toning tool. And now it's a simpler interface. So we can adjust the saturation here and then we can go through the hues to get to the one that we want. And then we've got the amount of that. And now that works really simply now instead of in the initial release of Women REI. We've also got the same for the highlights. 
and I can push the highlights towards the yellow slightly and take that to there. Let's just push the saturation so that you can see it working there. So that again is a welcome change to the toning. There's also a few more updates and bug fixes as well and I'll put them in the screen so that you can see them. I said at the beginning of the video this was going to be a short video just to introduce you and to show you the new updates for Luminar AI. For the future there are more updates in the pipeline, one you'll probably seen advertised which is the water reflections plus other updates that are coming, a couple of them that I'm really really interested in. That's all for this quick video so thanks again for watching and remember stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.